here he is now. The dwarf mongoose are going crazy, and those of you who are watching into the internet do not have to miss out on one moment of this incredible sight of this wonderful cat hunting in the glorious evening sunlight. And we have been joined by another vehicle. Taxon is here with us. Taxon, of course, has provided us with some of our best sightings on Safari Live and his guests getting to experience this wonderful moment. And guys, this leopard is thinking about walking straight towards James at the fireside chat. He's just, just changed the direction. And he's hungry. Let's go forward a little bit. Let's reposition so that we can get around the other vehicle. Ah, oh, Sundile, it is marvellous to see you once again. He's about to encounter a Franklin. The Franklin is going to alarm call. It spotted him. Is that going to alarm call? It might not. It's not, maybe not close enough. <laughs> Passing by straight towards where Mvula was last seen. Interesting. We're going to keep giving him a, a better, a, a bigger distance. And the reason behind that is he's, now that he's walking, He's changed his attitude towards the vehicle slightly, so he's just... The hyenas are calling as well. This could turn out to be quite dramatic. The hyenas are not far away at all. They're whooping. He might be heading towards that termite mound, give him a good vantage point. Unfortunately, he is heading towards a really thick block. And I think he's just going to keep pacing around quarantine. I uh, don't... He's actually, he's going to pop out right by the tent. We can see the tent and Sindile at the same time. I'll show you in a moment. While they prepare for fireside chat, you go forward a little bit, I can show you what I mean. This is incredible. He's watching them as they prepare for fireside chat. There's the reverse end of the tent. And there is Sindile. Could, um, it's incredible the way our big cats. There he goes, he's gonna run. He's a bit nervous of people on foot, is what we can tell almost immediately. He's dashed past. Now with him showing these kind of signs of nervousness, he's probably gonna run straight towards the thick drainage line. He's now running flat out. Because it's open, he doesn't feel safe, he doesn't have the comfort of the closed off areas. Okay, we're just going to have our vision obscured for a moment. There we go. And there he dashes. And he's running again. Now he's clearly, you can see in his body language that this leopard is stressed out a bit. But he's stressed out by the sight of people, sorry Liam. The sight of people moving about, even though they're incredibly far away. Which is a good thing, actually, because he's a leopard that's just been released from essentially captivity. So he needs to be a little bit wary of people on foot. We would far rather that than the other way around, of him being completely comfortable. He is showing signs of distress. I'm not going to follow much further. I'm going to keep my distance, and I'm going to let him move off at his own natural pace. I just want to see if I can't find you one last view. but I'm not going to stress him out any further. We're very far away now from where I last saw him. And it's very important, guys. We're here in, in their home, not the other way around. They're not here to provide us with entertainment or to please us, although they do that anyway, and they do give us the most incredible moments to share with them. But at the end of the day, they are wild animals and they're wild animals to be treated with the utmost of respect. And he's, he's nervous now, he's run away, yeah, and, it, and it's time for us to say goodbye to you all. One last view of the marvellous Sindile. 
Bye bye everyone, it is time for Fireside Chat. I hope you have the most marvellous of times.